All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rachakudash. The bond is being to the apostles. I know there's that great millstone, Haruah, and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, all who like that, the push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. To all you alchemists, say Shalom. I am the accurate. I am from the servants of Yahweh, Mo Yahweh Shai camp. You know, basically coming off with a quick video. You know, going into the um, book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, you know, going into the point that, hey, we're, we're, we're going to go back into power, man. So Isaiah, the 14th chapter, verse 1, it reads, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And the thing, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shai, has always had mercy upon his people, Jacob, man. All right, to prove that, yeah, the priest says down the, in the, in the Psalms, all right so there's the book of psalms the 103rd chapter verse 8 and it reads the lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and plenteous in mercy and likewise we're supposed to be the same way man you know and we we, we, we already retain certain qualities of yahweh bashman was shy and it's even commanded of us to be slow to anger man all right merciful as well you know that's in the book of matthew the fifth chapter it even goes into that you know that's rather merciful but anyways, going on, it says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And the thing is, you know, we fell away as a nation, all right? That's why we're in this captivity in the first place, because we fell off as a nation, you know, as a whole. All right, but the Lord, you know, hey, he's looking back on us again. I can get a preset down the book of Baruch, the, the second chapter. We try to bring this out a lot in camp. But, you know, for the sake of this lesson, I don't want this us edifying. You know, like the elders always say, going back to the basics. All right, but the book of Baruch, the second chapter. And uh, verse 29, if you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude, multitude shall be turned to a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. All right, we've been scattered abroad, man. All right, in the small numbers, you got small numbers of Jake, you know, in China, you know, Russia. All right, all throughout Asia, you know, the Middle East. You know, you got, you got Jake down in, in southern Italy, man. Or a lot of these, uh, you know, folk in the, uh, uh, from the mafia from back in the, the, the day, from back in the 1900s. Hey, they was Jake too, man. All right, looking like, you know, basically looking like, like, the, like the enemy. All right, you, you got Jake out there in Australia, everywhere, man. We're scared abroad. But going on, it says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. Which that word stiff-necked basically means stubborn, if you will. And Jake, man, you know how Jake is. They're, they're, they're stubborn, man. All right? If, if they can't receive what they desire in the first place, they don't want it afterwards. You know? And they also, they also, they also you know, basically hardening your heart. This goes into the, being, having a hardened heart, you know? Hey, just like, man. All right? But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. And we remembered our identity after um 350 years, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, you know, the other apostle Ramla went into that in the book of Revelation 11th chapter when it was breaking that down. You know, after a certain time, we ended up receiving our, our, our heritage back. So, when they have the captivity, they, captivities, they shall remember themselves, and we do remember ourselves. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power. And the reason why, so like, going back to verse 3, the reason why it says the land of their captivities. All right, because you have to realize back in every single captivity, we knew ourselves, man. All right, except for this for this last captivity that we're in, because Esau, you know, consulting with the heathen, they, they stripped away everything from us. All right, you had the, the um, one of the elites, the other apostle, Gabar, brought this out that, you know, back 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 when like a decade, some decades ago, you had you had an elite pull up and, and say we we paid billions of dollars to keep you away from, you know, this truth. Really quoting it there. All right, because you know Esau has done so much to to try effortlessly. You know, prevent us from from waking up to our true selves. So the reason why it says in the land of the captivity is because we're not only we're not only in here. We're not only, you know, uh, um, you know, bound within the the the, the limits of, of Babylon. We're not only bound to the to the um to the to the size of America. We're also in uh, everywhere, man. We're global, you know, and wherever a brother is at, that, that's that's where their captivity is, is is at because they're under the heathen over in those in the, over in those parts. You know, so when another captivity, they shall remember themselves referring to us right now. 
and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to ear. It's like it ears to hear. You know, which is all spiritual, man. All right? You know, not many people are going to have the understanding to be actually able to comprehend these things. But going on, only the elect will, you know. But going on, it says, and they shall praise me in the land of the captivity and think upon my name. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I'll bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. And the scriptures say that the Lord is not a power that he should lie, which I'm going to get a piece of that if I can get out, you know, bear with me, I can. <clears throat> bear with me, I can. Alright, this is the book of Salakia. I, I, I brought, I, you know, roughly paraphrased it right there, but Numbers the 23rd chapter, verse 19, it reads, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Salakia about that. Is Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Alright, so I just want to bring that point out. That whatever the Lord says shall come to pass, man. So now I'll bring them again to the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which are our forefathers whom he made a covenant with. You know, and they shall be lords of it. And we're going to be lords over all, all the land, which we're going to receive again, which will primarily be the, the Fertile Crescent, which is the best of the best, the best plot of land in the whole entire earth. But as a matter of fact, we're going we're gonna to inherit the whole earth, man. All right? We're going to inherit the whole world. We're going we're gonna to inherit the universe, man, under Yahweh Shai. Are we going to inherit planets? Hey, but, you know, we're, we're going to inherit the best of the best, you know, such as uh, um, the Fertile Crescent, you know? Located in the Middle East. But going on, it says, And they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And that was one of the promises the Lord made with that people, which actually came to pass and will come to pass again in, in the kingdom. All right, the fact that we're, that we're a big, you know, we're, 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 we're a gigantic multitude, man. We're a big population. You know, hey, the, the heathen can't say the same. So, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power. And they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them, because we're going to be set up right in the, in, you know, in this last time. All right, once we get delivered out of this bitch known as, you know, America, you know, this great whore, Babylon the Great. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna be perfected, man. And with that being said, we're never gonna be driven out. Why? Because there will be no point in the land vomiting us out because Jake will be perfect. They won't they won't come into the to the old customs of the heathen. All right, because that's one thing to know. That we always, you know, uh, got exiled out of the land because, you know, uh, we defiled it, man. All right, by way of, you know, idolize, you know, worshiping these false idols and, and committing the same customs that he didn't do. With Jake Love doing a part of that, you know. But very soon it won't be that. It won't be that way. As a matter of fact, hey, the heathen won't want to do what we do, man. All right, they want to follow. They would. They would want to follow our ordinances, such as the laws. But going on, twice the fourteenth chapter. Verse 1 again, it reads, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel. And because the Lord's only dealing with the nation of Israel, he will yet choose Israel. And this isn't a spiritual thing, all right? It's a literal, it's a literal lineage, you know, a literal line, a literal people, a literal nation, all right? Which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? But out of that, out of, the, out of all that nation, the elect nation that he's dealing with, he's only dealing with the remnant, you know? And the two-thirds will come out of that remnant, you know? And because... You, you, you would always go for the for the first fruits, man. All right, they're the best of the best. All right. So going on, it says and set them in their own land, and we're gonna go back to our land right now because right now up be, up us being in this in these bitch ass captivities, we're not sovereign. All right, but we will be very soon because we're gonna get beamed up on chariots, Lord, with those men, and brought down to our land, our land. So and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them. And those strangers, if you get into the blue letter. All right, so lucky for the background noise, Aki, but that was strangers. <coughs> you know, in the in the blue letter, right in the Hebrew, it's gar, all right, or gawar, which both basically mean the sojourner, right? A sojourner, a temporary inhabitant, all right, a foreigner in a different land, and right. So we're sojourners, we're we're, we're foreigners in a different land. All right, we're temporary, ha we're we're temporary ha inhabitants. In, the, in in these various lands, all right, such as Babylon the Great. Why? Because Babylon the Great ain't meant to be inhabited for long enough. Hey, so it's only temporary in our case. 
So little streets are talking about us. And you have people out there breaking it down, you know, uh, confusing it with the actual heathen. All right, little strangers in this verse ain't referring to the actual heathen. They ain't referring to the Egyptians. They ain't referring to the to the Edomites. They ain't referring to Elam. They ain't referring to anybody. It's referring to the Israelites, you know, scattered abroad. You know, okay, uh, you know, an example would be a uh, 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 and Peter. If I'm mistaken whether first or second Peter basically around those chapters and those epistles. They went into how those strangers, you know, those, those strangers were really talking about Jake, man. Or if he can receive it. So we went on, it says, and the strangers shall be it joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. All right, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. All right, referring to slaves, if you will, because servant is synonymous with the word slave. All right, they go hand in hand together, it's the same thing practically. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and we are captives right now. All right, under our current cap, ca you know, captors, if you will. Hey, very soon it's going to be to the point where those same captors will be captives and will be your captors, man. And they shall rule over the oppressors, see? All right, oppressors. Hey, yeah, oppressors, man, but we'll be your oppressors very soon. All right, you guys will be the oppressed very soon. You know, which if I can get a precept out. Bear with me, I can You know, in the book of, all right, the book of Proverbs, the which I'm gonna get, I'm actually get out um, Proverbs 11th chapter verse eight and site rag the 10th chapter verse 12. But Proverbs 11 and eight reads, "The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and we will be, we will be delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead." All right, all all the. All, all, all the hardships, all the hell, all the pain, all the tribulation we have to go through, all, 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 all the infliction we have to face, you know, just suck it up through. Hey, you guys are going to go through that same phase all over again, you know? Hey, because we already went through it. Now, now it's your turn, man. All right, who, who's that wicked? All right, the wicked is another title for the Edomites. All right? But also, you, you, you heathens out there that are immoral, man, because all, all, all you heathens without the law, such as the commandments, you guys are nothing but, but a bunch of, you know, Yellow bellies, whatever that word means, you know, just basically trying to, um, you know, call, call, calling you names because you heathen are nothing to me, man. All right, you you, you heathen are worthless and generous to me. All right, another one with the Zah, you guys have a have a very very painful kingdom, you know, experience in the kingdom. So when the wicked cometh in his stead, and you guys are gonna go through our stead, which that word stead, if you will, you know, the place or role that someone or something should have or fill. All right, so you guys will will, will will um drink of our cup. You know, you guys will drink of our like you know you know go 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 through our our our, our you guys are gonna fill up our position, all right, our old position if you will, and we're gonna have yours. We're gonna be on top now. Cyrax ten and fourteen reads: The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes, and one of these proud princes is Edomites, man. Hey, you know they're the proud, and that's in Habakkuk the second chapter, which if I can get it out. All right, now the one with his other lessons is pretty edifying. But Habakkuk, the second chapter, verse 4, you know, uh, verse 5, verse 5, Yea, also be you transgressed by wine. He is a proud man. All right, Esau's nothing but a proud man. He, you know, he's always boasting about his achievements, although he's nothing but a man. All right, the, 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 the hell is, is all this progression you've caused, you know, uh, w w what the hell is that? All right, it's nothing. It's all vain. You know, the Lord's going to destroy you know, your bitch-ass queendom, man. You know, so to, so to, so to com compliment and, 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 you know, boast about your achievements and this and that, being prideful, is it, 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 it basically, you know, the worst thing you could do, man. And, and that's why I can't wait to see your ju guys' judgment. That thermonuclear destruction will be so beautiful. Seeing, seeing, seeing that, seeing that, 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 that smile, you know, being wiped off your faces, man. All right, because the Lord ain't one, you know, to, to, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, be passive, if you will. He, he's a terrible power. You know, and he has a sense of humor. So right now, he's having this, he's putting a spirit on you to, to you know, uh, uh, have that little smirk on your face. But very soon, he's going to, you know, wipe that smirk off your face. All right, by way of the judgment that's going to come forth. All right, the hell with you damn Edomites, man. The hell with this place, man. The, the hell with, with, the, with you proud people, man. You know? So going on, Cyrac 10 and 14, it reads, The Lord has cast on the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek set up the meek in their stead that the meek in this case you know meaning a patient submissive quiet gentle and easily imposed on submissive basically um the lowly if you will that's talking about the elect man you know the elect 
we're, 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 we're gonna be set up in your guys' stead, you know, take over, be, be, be being the rulers. So, going back, this is the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, for, for verse 2 again. Slakia. And the people shall take them and bring them to their places in the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for his servants and handmaids. And if I can get that on the GMB, all right, the Good News Version, which you can get the Bible Hub app, and basically you can just search up this precept and get out all the translations, if you will. And it's heavy, man. All right, check this out. And Isaiah the 14, chapter verse 2, and the Good News, all right, the Good News Translation, the, the Good News Version, the GMB. Many nations will help the people of Israel to return to the land which the Lord gave them. And there the nations will serve Israel as slaves. Ooh, how, how, how good is that, man? All right, I'm going to read that again. And there the nations will serve Israel as slaves. You guys will serve the, the, the nation of Israel, you know, as slaves, man. All right. With all, so all this talk about God, condone, you know, God condones slavery when it has all BS, man. All right, because... You know, if he condoned it, then why would he let it come to pass in the first place? That's because he he allows it, man. All right, very soon he's gonna he, he's gonna he's gonna have us, all right, his people, rule over the heathen. All right, and Psalms the second chapter basically goes into how you how we shy is gonna inherit the heathen, all right, for an inheritance from the Lord. So going on it says those who once captured Israel will now be captured by Israel, and the people of Israel will rule over those those who once oppressed them. All right, straight to, the, straight to the point, you know, in, in a more definitive, in a definitive, you know, uh, way of, of reading it. So going back to Isaiah 14, the KJV, verse 3, And it shall come to pass in a day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage when thou wast made to serve. Hey, so, you know, uh, uh, all, all this hell has a reward coming our way, man. Our way, we reward coming our way, you know, where we won't suffer anymore. All right, we're going to be on top this time. We're, we're, we're going to rejoice. We're, we're going to have an eternal rest. We're going to be perfected. We're going to have to, you know, do a, a, a lift up a finger of days worth of, 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 you know, jobs, man. And you guys will do all the jobs for us, man. You know, you guys will be working a lot. You got something you know, as, um, if I can find it, uh, the, 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 there are certain terms for a slave. Like back in the ancient world, you'd have a, um, a house slave, you know. A house negro, as they call it, you know, damn, you know, damn Isa. And then you have the one out in the <coughs> the field. Well, just like that, man, you guys will be the, the, the field, the field gringos, all right, the field crackers. Our Edomites will, 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 will suffer through Chateau slavery like we had to. But only difference is, all right, you know, we won't, you, you, you won't, you won't be a house slave, all right, you won't be a house gringo, you won't be a house cracker, all right, you guys will be nothing but, 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 but. You know, pit crackers and pit gringos living in pits, man. All right, living in living living in, in, in pits full of full of you know fecal matter brought to you by uh, pigs, excreted by pigs. All right, you guys will literally live in, in, in animal toilets if you will, man. All right, that's where you guys will sleep. You know, and you guys won't eat shit, man. All right, and actually you will eat shit. You know, little little little, little animal feces, man. And we're going to force you and we're going to rejoice, you know, seeing your, your your great fall. You know, as a matter of fact, jumping down in the same chapter. It's a lot going on. I'm going to finish it off with verse four right here. Then jump down. It says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. And this, you know, kingdom only did so much time, you know, only did so much to actually keep us, uh, uh, um, you know, eh, and submissive, you know, and, and, and you know, basically ignorant for so long. That now is, you know, you're, you're falling, man. You're losing all your power. All right, now we know. Not now we know everything. You know, now we understand that that where the Israelites and, and this king, kingdom is falling. We're, we're basically prophesying against it, and you know these various other things. Hey, so the oppressor ceased. The golden city ceased. So you're a lure, you know, over Jake, man. It, it's pretty much breaking. You know, it's break pretty much breaking up, man. All right, and, you know you're, you're falling, man. You're falling. Now, how good is that? So, so like you've been with me, I can. <coughs> so like I'm, I'm just gonna continue on. Verse five: The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. All right, He's breaking your power. 
He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger from the east saw Edom. And that's all he ever did. All right, rule the nations in anger. That's why he had various, various titles. You know, the violent man. You know, you, you're nothing but a violent man. All right, you know, uh, nothing nothing but, but but a damn damn leopard. You know, that, 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 a, da a damn lion that consumes everything in its way. So he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and unhindered. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth in the singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee. And the cedars of Lebanon, saints, and thou art laid, no fellow is come up against us. How you see? I'm referring to, to uh, the, the, the deforestation you guys going on. But actually, I'm just going to jump down, you know, jump down. Because it's going to be pre it's gonna be pretty long. But I just want to bring out the verse 16. That was the point I wanted to bring out. He that seek thee ne shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, and, and who are those that, that are going to seek thee narrowly and look upon thee? You know, all the nations, the Israelite nation and the heathen nations, they shall see you for, for the real fool you are, Esau. All right, nothing but a, but a, but a damn worthless, degenerate, low, you know, a based cracker, man. All right, you're, you're, you're the base man. You're the base man that, that, that it talks about in the end of the fourth chapter. You know, you're nothing but, but worthless. You're, you're, you're a plague, you're a disease. You know, and, and I can't wait to be in power, man. When we're in power, man, we we can't even fathom what we're gonna do to you, man. All right, we could only we could only ponder so 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 much that, hey, man, we we really can't we just really can't comprehend what we're gonna do. Why? Because this mortal mind doesn't have the ability to do so. So, but we but we get certain examples. Hey, the things you see and saw, all right, all those traps, you know. Like the rack, hey, the rack was one of my one of one of my favorite traps. All right, in the in the in the, in the franchise, and we're gonna we're gonna do things like that upon you, man. So they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, "Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, the dish of kingdoms?" And one thing I want to do in the kingdom so badly is basically go in the field, you know, just 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 to uh, um, don't mean to ramble, but just wanna you know tell you what I, what, what I really want to do and what my desires will be walking through the fields. While Esau's working, you know, and, and grab a, um, you know, beat down a cracker, and you have a little, little Edomite baby, you know, retaliating and defending, you know, the the, the Edomite beat down, and, and I grab his head, and I, and, I, and I turn over, and I call the heathen, and, and just basically, uh, um, you know, the the the, the Yakim, and, and just start lecturing, saying, "Is this the man that made the earth tremble? See here, this is an Edomite, once in power, not lost." You know, basically coming up with the speech and, and basically mocking and humiliating the Edomites. All right, but I just want to bring that point out. So going on it says that made the world as a wilderness and destroy the cities thereof that open out the house of prisoners of his prisoners. Hey, because Esau's unjust, man. All right, so likewise, you you know, our our kingdom will, will be unjust for you, man. You know. And the thing is, we'll be a righteous, transparent government. Hey, but we're willfully going to, you know, be, be unjust to you. All right, we're going to do reenactments like what you did to us. You know, we're going to have Akim just, just, you know, you know, just, just uh, you know, come up to us, say, all right, here, here, here's 20 bucks. You know, no, 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 20 gold. Here, here's 20 golden bars, 20 golden wedges of old fear. That way, um, that way you may not bring true judgment to Esau. And I'm like, oh, yeah, come on. And then we will basically start beating down the Edomite and, and, you know, not basically, you know, giving giving them, you know, basically being equity, if you will. With slack, you know, that word equity basically mean being fair. You know, you won't have it. Right, we're we're going we're gonna to do certain reenactments, you know, where we're going to beat you down. All right, we're, 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 we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna frame you. We're going we're gonna to falsely report you. You know, do all these things, man. Well, you, you, you're going to have our women. You know, just like back 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 in the day, you 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 have these you know Shedomites, and what they would do is, you know, yell rape, and then there there goes another another another, another Jake getting lynched, man. We're gonna do the same thing to you, all right, man. I can't wait for that time. But with that being said, not this video was out of fine. You know, until the next one, I say shalom.